Today we are going to be trying that Japanese lettuce sandwich. Wait, what? Ew. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I found it on BuzzFeed and it's been blowing up. Does that look good to you? We'll just make the recipe exactly like the website suggests. I mean, who knows? Maybe it tastes really good. And the good thing is that it is dog friendly. So Gatsby can review the sandwich too. He's like, what? The texture of crispy lettuce is addictive to the fluffy bread. Please try to make it. Okay. So I guess the first step is get the ingredients. It only requires three ingredients. I'm using Japanese milk bread, Japanese QB mayonnaise, and it says we need to use half a head of iceberg lettuce. So pretty much the only flavor is gonna be coming from the, the mayonnaise, I think. It'll be a crunchy sandwich. This is what it says on the website. A dynamic sandwich using half lettuce. Even though there is only one ingredient to sandwich, it is a recipe that allows you to rediscover the freshness of lettuce, asking, is the lettuce so delicious? I'm wondering if the answer to that question is n no. Second step, apply like one tablespoon of mayonnaise. It is a little thicker than American mayonnaise. This is like a lot of mayonnaise. It kind of looks like sunscreen. Mmm. Mayo! <laughs> then we have to remove the core of the lettuce and fold it. The core is kind of like on the side. Usually you just slam it. Let's see if it works. Okay. I think it worked. And just kind of like take the core out like that. All of this lettuce is supposed to go into the sandwich, just FYI. It just says to fold the lettuce into like the shape of the bread, but I'm just confused because why wouldn't we just put it on top of the bread? I don't know. I'm just unfolding the lettuce from, <laughs> from the head and then folding it back. Okay. Gatsby, do you smell the lettuce? He's like, what are you making? And finally, we wrap the lettuce in plastic wrap and let it rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Place our slice of bread. Okay, here goes. This just looks so wrong, but I mean, you know, we can't judge it until we try it, so why not? Okay, so we put the other slice of bread on top. You can see it. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we just wrap it. There it is. For 30 minutes. Is it time for a 30 minute quirky massage? Oh. <laughs> Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. <laughs> you enjoying it? Yeah, day. you enjoying it? Gatsby's living the corgi life. Look at that. He is just relaxing and relaxing. Ta-da! It's been 30 minutes. Let's check up on the sandwich. It looks the same. Ta-da! <laughs> Exactly what you would think it is. I can hear Gatsby's like licking his lips in the background. It's not even gonna taste good. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm just afraid I'm gonna throw up, but. Okay, here it goes. And it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was just gonna taste like dry lettuce, but it doesn't. It's nice and cold and crispy, and the mayonnaise actually kinda like acts like a dressing. Mmm. not that bland. <laughs> mm. 
Surprisingly, it doesn't taste like a salad. That's what we got. Now let's see what Gatsby thinks. Here you go, lettuce sandwich. <laughs> Gatsby is not enjoying his lettuce sandwich. He's only eating the bread. <laughs> what do you think of the lettuce, Gatsby? <laughs> anyway, that was an experience. Today we're going to a corgi meetup, a corgi and boba meetup. Yeah, you're gonna see lots of corgis today. Does that sound like a good time? <laughs> He's like, yeah. We are back! Hey Gatsby, we're back! Gatsby, what is this? It's our old computer! Do you see? Look at that. <gasps> but check it out! I got a new computer! As I mentioned last vlog, we are having a lot of computer troubles. I brought my computer in and they took forever because they couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Even the repair people were like, are you sure you want to fix this computer? It costs a lot more to fix than the value of the computer. After all of that, they determined that the only thing that they could think of was that the fan was not working, which I already know is not the case. Basically, my friend was like, I can fix it. So he brought his tools and he just like cracked my screen open. After my friend cracked the screen, the screen cost like $700 to replace. So it really made it so that it was not worth fixing anymore. And I finally decided to just buy a new computer. Uh, not a new one, but a used one right over here. And that's because I'm waiting for Apple to release the better computer whenever that happens. And it did take me like four days to move all the files over. Just one vlog, the vlog file itself, was 478 gigabytes. You know, the last vlog that I posted, I edited on my laptop, which took so long. The computer kept telling me that oh, it's no. out of storage, it's out of storage. You need to have all the files on your computer and not like on an external drive. And now I have a broken computer down there, which um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with. That was such a nightmare. Oh, and by the way, all the merchandise, I am working on some new releases. It will be some new tie-dye stuff, because I know that a lot of the tie-dye stuff that we had is sold out. This is gonna be totally new, with totally new tie-dye designs. I'm hoping that everything will be ready by early June. And of course, if you are interested in getting any merchandise, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com. It helps support Gatsby and me including helping me cover my costs for my new computer. Today I'm wearing this t-shirt over here, the Japanese Corgi t-shirt in emerald green. Okay, are you gonna find me? Here we go. Here we go.
watching me. Gatsby, it's that time of year again. Congratulations, you guys! Happy graduation, class of 2021. You guys did it. This must have been a very, very hard year of school, especially trying to stay focused. In the comments below, let me know what grade you are graduating from. If you are graduating from school, for me, this is the 10th year I've been out of school. So this would have been my 10 year reunion. Isn't that crazy, Gatsby? dinner today, I thought I would just go and grab some ramen. After having that lettuce sandwich, I'm like, I think I want to eat some really, really good ramen. I decided to just order some from my favorite place. I haven't been there in over a year. What I decided to do is order two. I hope it doesn't get too cold by the time I get back. Okay. I got my ramen. Okay, so I'm making Gatsby's food too. Um, Gatsby right now is on a diet. The vet um, said that he is getting overweight. They gave me instructions on what to feed him. He still gets his food, which we're feeding him Dr. Marty's over here. And in addition, I also get him some cooked meat. I boiled some chicken for him. So before he would get one full cup of food for dinner um, of this, but now he gets three quarters cups of this and a quarter cup of um, actual meat. It's not a bad deal for him. He's around 32 and a half pounds, which is actually not that bad, I think. But the vet was feeling his spine. She suggested that Gatsby's ideal weight is actually 28 pounds, <gasps> which is a lot less. He always goes for the chicken first. You're looking skinnier already, Gatsby. This is what to-go ramen looks like. So they put the soup on the bottom. And this is the noodles and everything. Yes. Ooh, and there's noodles on the bottom. And this is the tonkotsu one. Pork broth is white. It's super, super, super rich. Ta-da! The noodles in here look really good. Oh, this looks so delicious. Mm, it is like so much umami. It like coats your tongue. It's salty, it's delicious. Mmm, it's very good too. It's very soy saucy, but it's very delicious. It's not sweet, which is good. That's so good. Oh. Gatsby's happy with his dinner. He's like, oh, that was so yummy. Now I'm gonna switch over to the tonkotsu one. What a good call. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna finish eating this and I'll see you guys afterwards. Oh no, my old Canon G7X camera is, I think it just finally broke. And then it just says lens error. I usually use this camera when I'm on the go, so I don't know. Anyway, I think we can open a little bit of mail. We have a few packages to open. Let's do that before we go to bed. Scarlet from Oakland, California. Seems like it's a... Uh... Oh, Gatsby, are you waking up? We're opening some mail, you wanna join us? That's great! That's you! <laughs> Our love from Florida, from Emma and Ben. Corgi cookie cutters. Corgi butt one. And then this is the corgi laying down. My name is Lexi. I am from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I love to watch your videos. It's another donut! <laughs> 
You have like a thousand donuts, Gatsby. Final one for today. Hi, Gatsby. We hope you enjoyed these new donut toys from Anna <laughs> and Nadine Morris. Donut Disturb. Oh my gosh. You guys. Are you seeing how many there are in here? <laughs> I love Sour Patch. I love putting uh, Lee Hing powder on it. It's from Hawaii. We want to say thank you so much, you guys, for sending us some stuff. I'm like in a food coma right now. So we're going to head to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out CorgiOnFleek.com for all of our merchandise. There's going to be more merchandise coming up. I'm working on it right now. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully the videos can come out more frequently now that I have my computer. Good night, sir. Hey, Cassie, check out this awesome fan. It's for you.